One of the concepts that we're learning in math is how to change the order of add-ins. So we have to do a couple of things before we can learn about how to change the order of add-ins. The first is identify, we have to identify uh, what an add-in is. Let's look at an example addition sentence. 9 plus 2 equals 11. This is an example of an addition sentence. When we talk about the, the add-ins, the two numbers that are being added together, those are called the add-ins. The answer to the addition problem is called the sum. And the symbols that are being used are the plus sign and the equals sign. So those are the parts that make up an addition sentence. You have the two add-ins, the two add-ins which are right right here two add-ins, 9 plus 2. 9 and 2 are my add-ins. The sum is 11, and the plus sign and the equal sign, those are the two symbols being used. Our focus is going to direct mainly on the add-ins, this word right here. Because what we're learning how to do is take a problem like 9 plus 2 equals 11, and change the add-ins to a different order. Look at, let's look at that problem again. 9 plus 2 equals 11. Now we've already identified that the two add-ins in this problem are 9 and 2. We can take the two add-ins and we can flip them into a new position. The 2 now becomes the first number. We still have our symbol of a plus sign. The 9 becomes the second number. And the sum will stay the same. The sum will not change just because the order of the add-ins have. So when you look at a problem like 9 plus 2, and you identify that 9 and 2 are the add-ins, if I ask you to write the problem again with the add-ins in a different order, you're simply going to choose those two add-ins and put them in a different order. 